At first glance, Rulon Gardner looked like a farmer who got stuck in a parade. He drove a tractor to his big day. This is going to be embarrassing. Just let me hide my head. And Nearly everyone wanted to ride along. But Afton, Wyoming, his hometown, is tiny. Barely 1,500 people. And organizers wanted to make sure there would be someone there to clap when he came by. Not to worry. Thanks. There were so many people, some had to sit on roofs. How are you doing, Dr. Perks? It's the man that brought me in the world. When Rulon weighed only eight pounds, 15 ounces. The baby of the family, now 6'2", 286 pounds. How you doing, Mary Isabel? How we doing? I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm looking for the girl to turn Rulon down for the prom. <laughs> Who would turn Rulon down? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Two weeks ago at the Sydney Olympics, he won a gold medal. Virtually no one else in the world thought he could. Do you believe in miracles again? Rulon Gardner has upset the king. Beating Alexander Karelin, a Russian wrestler so good. Opponents had not scored a single point against him since 1990. And that was when I was a junior in high school, and I couldn't even make the varsity team back then. He and a brother wrestled for the final spot on their high school varsity team, and Rulon let him win. Because Rulon was a junior, his brother a senior, and that would have been his last chance to compete. Rulon grew up in a place where people are known not for what they own, they can keep this one, but for what they do. Sweet. His 15 minutes of fame have now stretched beyond 15 days. Few prizes in sports shine more brightly than an Olympic gold medal. Has his newly minted celebrity changed him? Oh no, he's homegrown. <laughs> I grew up. Really? He said he went out and did it for us. He did it. But he had to wrestle his emotions. Wow. <sighs> um, thank you for coming and sharing this opportunity with me. <laughs> I know I'm going to cry, so. Facing his friends seemed harder than what he had done at the Olympics. Just pure raw emotion right there. Yeah, there's more raw emotion there than there was when I won. What about growing up in this town prepared you for the victory in the Olympics? My whole 18 years of my life, the last 10, 10 years have been a dream. You know, my whole first 18 years of my life was reality. It was hard. The youngest of nine children living on a dairy farm. But you have to go out and get everything done. You have to milk them when it's cold. You just got to do it. But now, my life is pretty simple. You know, I go out and wrestle for nine minutes, and that's nothing compared to the big scheme of life. What do you think you gave up to gain the great prize that you've gotten? Oh, that's an that's a incredible great question. That's just a phenomenal. Um, I've given up so many things. When my parents are growing older. I miss seeing them. I miss being here around them. I miss the valley. I miss the, the quality of people that I, that I was used to growing up with. And Sometimes the toughest judges are the ones who knew us when in this place, at this moment, everyone gave Rulon Gardner a perfect 10. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Afton, Wyoming.